Hello there, and welcome to my very hot and steamy workshop. It's 31 degrees outside. So today we're going to continue the theme of CNC machining. Now, if you've seen the last video, uh, I showed you how to set up a mini CNC milling machine and we cut this brass disc out which is 55 millimeters in diameter and it is 3.5 millimeters in thickness. Now about three or four videos back in Cavco Maker Plus I put a 3D design together, or should I say I modified a relief to be carved in this brass. So today what we're going to do is go to the next stage and that is I've got a beautiful piece of mahogany and in Carvco Maker Plus, although all of the Carvco products will do this, we are going to do the tool paths to cut a pocket, a circular pocket or a recess to recess this disc into in the center and the next video we will actually carve that 3D design that I did three four videos back into this brass medallion. Okay so now we have our tool pass to cut this circular pocket we're going to set the material on the waste board of in this particular case this is a MIDI CNC router uh, it's a CNC router that I designed and manufactured myself uh, all the drawings, uh, specifications uh, and parts Pricing are all available on my Patreon pages. So the first thing to do is to map this securely to the waste board. I just simply do it with some screws. So the first one just goes in roughly like this. Now we need to square it up, so I'll bring you in a bit closer so you can see. So a simple way to do is just, uh, I know that this edge here is square to the rest of the machine. Just get a, a square and pop it on there so, so you know that this now is square with the machine. Roughly square anyway. Okay, very firm. So the next thing I'm going to do now is I've already got a very sharp, uh, this is a V-bit cutter actually, very sharp tool. I'm going to bring this over now and just find out where the center of that cross is and we will zero the X, Y coordinates. <laughs> so we'll bring it down a little closer. close enough and we'll go back a little in the Y and we'll come across a little bit in the Z and we'll come down a little further I'm using the hand controller now actually and we'll go over in the X a bit more. That is back in the Y a little bit maybe. I'm going to call that good. So now I'll show you how to zero the X and Y. So this is 
an SMC5 offline controller. In other words, this really is, it, it is and operates exactly the same as Mac 3 or Mac 4. It's got a slightly different screen, but all the information is here. X, Y, Z coordinate and also uh, the speed and feed coordinate and you can adjust in percentage. Um, so what we're going to do now is start off by putting in the G card. So we'll insert our thumb drive and we'll ask it to open the file just by pressing this and then we select the USB drive press again and then we need to select our file which is this one here and press this again it selects that to open and we press open and it'll be into the machine into the controller now if you want to see that that it's in there you just press this uh, button here and you can actually see the g-code of which there are hundreds and hundreds of lines probably somewhere in the region of about 500 lines of code now to get out of that you press escape and before we go any further what we need to do now is to set the zero now to set the zero, so what we do is, there's a C with a slash through it, we select that and we can have, we can select the X, so all we do is press the OK, you can actually press the OK button or this button and uh, it will zero the X. So we press OK and it zeroes so us, zero the X and now the Y is zero and it's as simple as that with zero now the X and Y coordinates of that piece of work so the next thing we're going to do now is lift the Z up and put the correct tool in which is simply done just by pressing Z plus Okay, so here's our tool. It's a two flute end mill, six millimeter. So all we're going to do is hold the shaft and undo the lock nut or see that's a, a V-bit carving tool, so that can come out. This one can go in. What what you want to do when you're putting a tool in, get the full shank of the tool in so there's as little overhang as possible then over tighten it nice and firm give it a turn make sure that indeed it is rotating squarely and not in there at any sort of angle the most simple way of finding the end of that tool in relation to the material or the zero Z zero then is just to get a piece of paper slide underneath the tool and then just quietly bring the tool down select Z now then quietly bring the tool down until it just grabs the piece of paper. You just move the piece of paper and just feel it there. Okay it's got it there. So now we can zero the Z. And again that's simply done just by selecting the Z and pressing OK Z zero. So now we'll just lift the Z up, or the tool up off the work. And we are now set to run the program. But first, I'm going to show you what I do 
to when I start a program like this because you don't really know how fast the tool is going to go and jump and dig straight into the material so I like to send it in nice and quiet and I like to see and hear how the tool is cutting first before I ramp it up to 100%. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the feed rate and if you notice the percentage of feed rate I'm going to bring it down actually 30% would be fine um, and from there I'm going to start the spindle up because this does not control my spindle yet that will be sometime in the future and uh, we will cut this pocket to recess a piece of brass and the next video will be machining the 3D relief in this brass medallion. So don't forget if you are interested in a CNC router of this capability that can machine metal as well as all different types of woods and man-made um, material as well the cost of this CNC router is under a thousand dollars. Now that includes the offline controller, which is as good as any Mac 3 or Mac 4 I have found. So all the details for this build, plans, parts list, price list, and where I actually got everything from, is on my Patreon pages and don't forget underneath this video I will leave a 5% discount code for any of the CAVCO programs for you so thank you for joining me and I hope you tune in for the next video where we carve the 3D relief in this brass medallion so thank you for joining me and it's bye for now.